Hello everyone and you're so much welcome to today's True Talk with Oduro Limojibola. And today I'm going to be discussing with us how we can handle all of the increments in the prices of our materials and um, our tools. And I'm also going to be sharing some experience with us that I had lately that I think would be of help to each and every one of us. I still remain your most wealthy shoemaking made easy to do. I want you to sit back and I'm gonna be right. First thing we're gonna be looking at today is how exactly can I undo the increment in all of the prices of the materials. I was wowed the last time I got to the market and I find out that all of our materials are increasing day by day. Of course, normally when I buy, I love to buy my in bulk. And when I buy in bulk, of course, I don't have to get back to the market until I've exhausted the one I bought. So the, what I'm going to be encouraging us to do in this season is avoid buying in pairs. Avoid buying in pairs. When you buy in pairs, you spend more money. You spend more in your production process. So I'm going to encourage you to buy at least in quarter, at least probably a sheet buy in quarter, probably a, 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 a your leather in yard buy a quarter. If you if you buy in kg, make sure that you buy enough quantity that can end up subsidizing the prices instead of the one you buy per pay. So one major thing I think you can use, one major thing I will encourage you to do in this season where materials are very expensive is avoid buying in pairs. Say no to buying in pairs. Yes, because I find out that many a times when you buy in pairs, you don't get the same price. You understand the claim quantity as buying a sheet. For example, if you're working with a sheet of Nora, of course, like I have taught us before, you'll be having like 23 to 22 pairs if you can manage it for women. And if men are inclusive, you might end up having like 20. So if you're buying 20 and then um, for now, you hear that a full sheet is 5,800. 5,800. Of course, considering your transport fare and everything, before you know it, it depends on where you stay, it depends on, on you know, your location to the market too. But then you had all of those things. Of course, that's not the only thing you're buying. You find out that you have spent a lot buying actually in pay. Because, of course, you still get to the market if you're buying in pay. You still get to the market if you're buying in bulk. So, let's see how it looks when you buy in sheets or in yards. So, like I was saying, I was trying to let us know that by the time you buy, I'm going to be using a particular material, for example. When, you, when I mention Nora, I'm talking about a PVC sheet. That is what is referred to as Nora here in Nigeria. A PVC sheet. And I'm talking about the textured one, not just the plain one. Those that are textured on one side, but plain or rough on the other side. Those are the ones I'm talking about. And here, in example, in Nigeria, when you buy a yard, a yard will cost about, I mean a sheet of that PVC that has 3 millimeter. We call it Nora 3A. It's sold for about 5,800. I mean a sheet and like i said if you are going to be cutting out women's so you're not it's not wide you understand you can still cut like 22 23 but let's just say you cut 20. let's say you are able to cut 20. don't forget i did not include the, the top heels if you're going to be including top heels from it it means you won't be able to cut as much as that you understand what i'm saying so probably you are getting another material for your top heels so if you have cut out 20 pairs and it's 5,800 Naira. If you look at 5,800 Naira divided by the 20 PS I explained by 20, you're going to be having about 290 Naira or so. Uh, I mean, per pair. Uh, it means each pair you use for each leg is going to be costing 290 Naira. And if you want to buy just a pair in the same store, they are pay, they are buying you, they, they, they sell it for 500 naira. I mean for that PVC with 3 millimeter thickness, which is called, we call it Nora 3. So I'm trying to let you know that if you need, you are buying Nora 4, Nora 4 here, for example, which is PVC with 4 millimeter thickness, is sold for 7,000 naira here in Nigeria, where I stay. 
is 7,000. And one pair is 700 naira. So tell me, if you now buy um, a, a, a sheet, for example, 7,000 naira divided by 2, what if we buy 20? You're going to be having like 350 naira for a pair. And the pair is sold in for 700 naira. So I find out that we spend more money when we buy in pairs than when you buy in bulk. So at least, okay, you cannot afford it. Try and buy quarter quarter of a sheet you can manage it i know if you are major majorly creating for men you may not be able to get as much as um 20 pairs if you are actually creating majorly for men you may not be able to get for as much as 20 pairs but i want you to know that on the average you will not be actually um by the time you can you check the cost the estimate when you are true it will not be as much as buying a pair of pvc with three millimeter for 500 naira it will not be as much as as that about 100 naira might have reduced from it. About 150 might have reduced from it. As much as possible, avoid buying in pairs. As much as you can. I tell you, if you buy one pair, for example, when you finish cutting men a pair of, let's say, size 42 or 45, for example, nothing is left. Nothing is left. As far as I'm concerned, nothing is left. But if you buy like quarter, at least, even if it is four, you can cut from the quarter. It's still making a lot of sense, and you will not be you will not be spending you will not be buying it at the rate of seven seven hundred naira. You understand what I'm trying to say? So this season, avoid it. Even when you are buying leather, some of us love to buy leather. When you are buying leather, those in yard, I understand that some some of our of our heights and skin here they sell them in weight according to the weights in kg. So buy like that. Just sort 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 gather check the weights and buy. I think it's all, always much more better like that if you can buy together and not buying in small, 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 small pieces. You spend more money buying in small, small pieces than buying in bulk. Sometimes it doesn't look, it doesn't go well with us. But when you already have the material, each time somebody pay you, all you need to do is to reserve those for the materials so that you can restock your materials each time you exhaust them. Because most times when you want to go and stock like that, you may not be making any kind of profit on the, on the, on the, on the, on the order. So it means it's better for you to do it like that so that you make your money later when another person is placing an order for the same material or for the same style. So that is that. I was telling us about an experience I had lady. You know, God had laid it in my heart to start a particular weekend class. And then, um, you know, like I have always told us here, it's good to always listen for instruction. Don't just pray. Don't just fast. Listen for instruction. And then when he instructed me to do that, I just made that move. I look for a location that at least is central. Everybody around can, you know, walk into and learn. And of course, I go there. I'd created awareness in my own way. You understand? Of course, I might not do as much as I ought to do. <laughs> because when it comes to awareness, you have to create it every time and every day. So... I always show up there. Of course, I have some people who ask questions. Okay, do you make shoes? How do we join? And things like that. But I find that consistently for a long while, nobody is willing to actually come to learn. I'm sure somebody is already saying, oh, wow, how I wish I'm in that kind of environment to also learn. So it's like that sometime in your business. And you find a situation, you find yourself in a situation where like, oh, what is all happening here? Everything seems so dry. Is it that it's not working? I, I need you to be patient. I need you to be consistent. I, I still continue going there. You know, I still have some students who shows up like, you know, all these, I have schools that I teach around. So some of them still show up and say, oh, we would like to learn more, you know, this, that kind of a thing. But I'm looking out for people who are totally new people who doesn't know me before. So, and I was there for over a month. Like I went there consecutively. And, you know, and I was not having new people coming in. Normally, you'll be, dis you be discouraged because, one, each time I leave the house to go to that place, I have a lot of things to actually do back in, in my house because, of course, I use my own house as where I make my production. I have a place where I do my production and all of that. So, I, I'm like, oh, it's not that I'm just going there to waste my time. And But because I had an instruction to actually do that, you know, and I know people made a lot of inquiries when I posted the banner, when I shared the flyers, people made inquiries about it. So I am still expectant. I am still waiting. I'm still waiting. I said, okay, if you, some if people make inquiries, it means it's appealing to them. You know, that kind of a thing. So at the end of the day, I just want to let you know that I'm beginning to have totally new people coming to register for the class. It's so exciting to have people coming in now to come and register after I've been there for like six good weeks, six good weekends.
You don't understand. So please, I don't want you to give up. I just want to encourage you today. Just keep moving. Being consistent. Trust God for instruction. Listen for instruction as we pray. I want you to know that that is key in this season. If you're going to stand out, you have to listen for instruction and i trust god to continue to help us if you're watching my channel for the first time i want you to know that what we do on thursday is we teach ourselves the basic things that can help our business grow and we also encourage ourselves and empower ourselves spiritually when it comes to handling business because it's not just physical it has to be spiritual you don't know what that neighbor does you don't know what that um vendor does but since you have god you have to make sure that you connect with him at another level as regards your business as regards your health as regards your life you understand what i'm saying so it's not something you look down on at all so we build our businesses it doesn't matter even if you're not doing shoemaking you're not into shoemaking you of course you are still free to join us and on tuesdays and on saturday basically what we do is we go right into the simplicity of shoemaking we make it as simple as possible so i need you to subscribe to my channel press the notification bell so that each time i upload a video you will be notified i have a lot of courses if you would like to go for my more course for the beginners intensive courses i have them that you can actually join but if you want to start with this, with this channel i bet you you have more than enough videos to kick start if you don't know where to start go right away to my to my page to my youtube page and start from the beginning i started from the beginning because i had you in mind when i started this channel thank you once again for joining me today and don't forget i still remain your show making made easy to talk and i'm going to see you next time bye